The only way is up with Cork's Big Breakfast. Well, I guess we've all at one stage or another been refused entry to a city centre nightclub. You know the way. Don't like the way you're dressed, too much drink on board, whatever. Well, Dervla Murphy was refused entry to a Cork City nightclub and didn't like it one bit. She wrote a letter to the management of the nightclub and her friends Mary Stanton and Maeve O'Mahony told me all about it. Enter the bouncer. Oh, sorry, doorman. Hello? Hi, Dervla Murphy, please. Uh, speaking. Uh, hiya, Dervla. Terry McCann is my name. Right. Calling here from a uh, nightclub. Well, I'm all not right. actually, I, I'm, I'm at work like, but i calling on their behalf, you know? Yeah. Uh, I believe you wrote a letter concerning last Friday night when you weren't left in. I did, yeah. Can I ask why, like, or why particularly you want an apology off me? Um, well, I I presume you were at the bouncer at the door, yeah? I'm a doorman, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I just found your whole manner entirely rude and unnecessary towards me and my friends. My manner? Your manner, yes. You you were the one, if you, if you remember correctly, that got stuck in me. I, I, I don't believe that's true. I got stuck in you out, out of reaction to how you were behaving towards me. Well, let me see now. There was you and two of your friends, right? Yeah. And as you were approaching the door, if I remember correctly, you took a speed wobble. Well, no, in fairness, I was wearing platforms and the pavement outside your club is not exactly perfect. I mean, even Naomi Campbell fell off her platforms at one stage. You can't have thought that I was drunk because of that. You know, you looked as if you had a good few in you, you know? I'm only using my judgment <laughs> and I have years of experience, you know? Excuse me now, but did you have a breathalyzer on you? I don't think so. Well, at 10 to 1 in the morning, when someone staggers up towards the door, you know, you tend to think they, they might have had enough, you know? Well, I'm sorry now. I took a little wobble off my platforms. I had not even had two in me, let alone a good few. But then you, I you, had tried, been a- you tried to brush past me then? Of course I tried to brush past you. You were being extremely rude. As I, as I remember, I brushed past you because I wanted to speak to someone else I wasn't who was going rude. to I, treat me a little bit more decently. I thought you had enough drink taken and I told you to take a walk around the block. Excuse me now, but you had no knowledge of how much drink I had taken. What am I to assume a ten to one? At ten to one you can assume any sort of thing, such as what my friends and I had been doing. We were at home watching a video. I had a glass of wine because I was driving my friends into town. Likely so. So I was no more drunk. We were arriving at ten to one because we only decided on a whim to go to which I might add, I'm a regular at, and I have never had trouble before. You must be new or something. I'm not new, and I don't know you. There's no need to add lies to insult now, like, but writing to the boss was fairly extreme, you know? Well, I'm sorry now, but right from the start, I mean, you could have been slightly more reasonable. I got angry with you because you were so obstreperous to me. You just started straight away being condescending and utterly rude. You didn't even ask me for ID. I had ID and everything. That seems to me you've no idea about anything. Excuse your cheek. I was perfectly sober. I am perfectly within my rights to be in that club. I was of age. I mean, I think as far as I was concerned, I was dressed appropriately. I acted appropriately. Dressed appropriately? We're running a nightclub, not a strip club. Strip club? Excuse me! I was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. You were wearing jeans and a t-shirt? Are you accusing me of being drinking or what? I know what I saw. What you had on was very, very skimpy altogether. I don't know I how you... I disagree entirely. I don't know compared how Compared you... to some of the sloppers I've seen in your club. If you were a daughter of mine, it's clipper on the ear is what I'd give you. <laughs> well, excuse me, I'm perfectly of age now that my father wouldn't need to be giving me a clip out around the ear. He wouldn't even dare. You sound like a snotty one, all right? I'd say you must, you must have given your parents an awful time, did you? Do you have any respect at all for your elders? I don't need respect for you, s- I see you paid. I mean, respect has to be earned. I mean, all you are, like... It's just a jumped up person who's enjoying the power that they're given, the small bit of power they're given on the door. I'm I don't know what you have against me right from the start, but something. I have a job to do, girl. Simple as that. And I did my job on Friday night and I do it again. The letter I wrote to your boss merely said that I felt that right from the start, your tone and your attitude towards me were completely inappropriate. No, that no, you made no, slanderous no. accusations no, to me no, no, about no, no. the man I had... Excuse- you can stop your mocking me now straight away. I'll have you know this will be reported. Me, what? Me, What's me, your name me. again? I I've even forgotten your name. You're that unimportant. Terry McCann, why? Terry McCann, right. I'm just... I'm, I'm interested I, in keeping... You can stop that right now. I, I'll have you know I'm never coming back to ever. And I let your boss know that. And what's more, I will never let any of my friends go to your club. I even had my 21st birthday party at your club and brought, brought 20 people to your club who have never been there before. You finished? Yes, I'm finished, okay. I think. Well, I just said I'd call in and tell you I'm not sorry anyway. And don't dare darken our door again. 
Wild horses couldn't drag me through the door of f- again, I'm telling you. Come back down now and we'll all be laughing at you. You won't even dare. <laughs> and if you make any of those slanderous accusations towards me again, Man. I swear I'll do something about it. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love you young ones. You all try it on, huh? I oh, the big this. person over young the phone, people, huh? Young big people, people over the phone. Young people, it's what makes your business work. Young people, it's what makes you have a job. Sir. Come on, come and see me face to face. We'll have a proper shouting match. You're I've a, already a big, brave seen woman you face to face, yeah. and God knows you're ugly enough. I don't want to see your <laughs> face ever again. Well, come back again. We'll all have a good laugh at you anyway. I'm telling you, I will never darken your door again. And bring Mary Stanton and Maeve O'Mahony with you as well. What? They're the two who were with you, wasn't it? How did you know that? You didn't write it in the letter. I didn't write it in the letter. Well, they wrote it in the letter then. In what letter? They didn't write you any letter, as yes, far as I know. Well, they wrote a fax. A fax? You're on to Cork's who? Big Breakfast. You're on Cork's Big Breakfast. Oh, no. Good morning, Jervla. This is Mick Mulcahy. Oh, no. Is this going on here? Please oh, no. wind up our conservative dressing friend, Dervla Murphy who was refused for the first time in her life at a city nightclub, we won't mention the name, last Friday night. she got. I have been fuming about this Here is the word. all weekend. She got well thick with the doorman. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, anyway, who did this? The two girls? Did you actually write a letter in, yeah? I did, yeah, because I, I, was, I was fuming. I thought he was so rude to me, and I was perfectly sober. <laughs> I'm going to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Dervla. Okay, thanks, mate. Cheers. (laughs) Bye-bye.